Welcome back to The Waiting Game, Chapter 35. This is our third episode. Of course, I'm here, Maggie. You have Tanya, you have Victoria, and you... <laughs> so we are so excited you're joining us today. Victoria, what is on the table for us to discuss today? All right. So, well, before we do that, we have to... It was one of our castmates' birthday yesterday. Uh so we got to say happy birthday to Sheree. Hello, hello. Happy yes. birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes, y'all. Give us some on the cash chef. Give us some for her birthday. All right. Um, so, so, okay. So I had a discussion with someone who's an older lady who's been in our lives since we were little. And she said, uh, what are you doing about getting married? Uh-huh, all that. What you think about dating, all that, you know, the good stuff that old people ask us a lot. So she said, are you ready to, uh, if you get a man, and he might not be what you think he gonna be right now, you're like, oh, well, he got this and he got that. Are you ready to teach him, okay? Teach him, redefine him, rearrange him, and realign who he is as a man to be what you might think that he can be. So we're gonna just go around and listen to see what you guys think about that. Because I sent that to the girls, but they was like, what are you talking about? So... Uh, we'll go ahead and start <laughs> with Sheree. Let's go. <laughs> Sheree, let's go. What? <laughs> okay, so I mean, like, I need I need some more clarification. Like, teach, re realign, redefine. Yes. Like, what do what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think that she was saying that, like, are you ready to teach a man? Like, okay. When I looked at these words, I said, okay, these are some big words, uh, and they can mean so many things. So yeah. they can mean, like, what if you meet a guy who's not a family man? What you gonna do, Sheree? You're gonna have to rearrange how he is about family, correct? So are you willing to do that? Okay, see, uh, um, okay, so my, my whole thought process was that because I'm still learning that we still have to, I guess, quote unquote, all those things, teach, rearrange, realign, mm -hmm. redefine our, our men. But I think as well as the husbands have to do so for the women as well, because it's going to be something Correct. that they don't like. They're going to be like, mm. but at the same time, I think it's like a give it, not a give and take, but as I serve my man, he's going to serve me. So as I am teaching him, he's going to teach me. As I'm like realigning whatever yes, sis. that needs to be realigned, then he's going to be doing that to me as well. But I ain't gonna lie, my first instinct was like, "Why am I teaching you anything?" <laughs> <laughs> That's why, why I went yeah. to. That's yeah. why I needed clarification <laughs> because why, why am I realigning you? What 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 do I have to redefine? Like I don't. What I mean, Marie, that's what I agree with. Like when she said, <laughs> I was like. I felt like when she said that, yes, I'm willing to teach someone, but first of all, they have to be willing to talk. And the other right. thing that popped in my head was, are we looking at potential? So it sounds like, what's the potential in a man? Are we trying to change a man? And I've always been told, right, you can't change anybody. It's right. hard enough to change, you know, work on yourself. So you okay. can't change. So then that's okay. where I do teaching, realigning, redefining, rearranging. That's a lot. I mean, that is a <laughs> workload. Like, how much do we have mm -hmm. to work on teaching, rearranging, realigning? And I'm like, is that a whole lot of potential? And does he want to do that? So I think right. the person has to be willing. Like you said, we give and take. Yeah. The two people have to be willing to work together and definitely learn from each other. Mm, what you thinking, Tanya? Tanya, what you thinking? I'm, I'm thinking the same thing, you know, as far as rearranging, definitely um, for me, because, you know, on the first episode, I was talking about, you know, dating and time-wise and finding that balance with time. So I'm definitely going to have to rearrange <laughs> my life for the man that I meet in order to put in that time for us to have time to date. For us to have a long time, you know, because I am a single parent. So, you know, do I want him around my son? Do I want to keep having, you know, family, quote unquote, family dates, you know, where, you know, we meet at the park and, you know, we can sit and talk when my son's playing or something like that. 
or you know i have to find that balance find that time to rearrange you know if i want to go to the gym or if i want to have date nights every friday now i'm used to coming home going to sleep on a friday so if <laughs> i'm going to be doing this i would expect him to do that and to just find, try to find that happy medium because i think the age that we're at right now being 35 you know I would hate for somebody to be older because I definitely see that, you know, you can kind of get stuck in your ways with how you want, what you want, when you want. And right. well, I, well, I'm glad you brought that up about right. the age. Okay, hold on. Let's let's back up just two seconds, okay? Um, so uh, about dating older, because this is, because the, the lady who told me this, she followed up and said, would you be willing to date an older man? I said, uh, <laughs> I mean, it depends. Like, this is what I said. If he's older, he must be willing to have children. And he has to be a healthy, vibrant older. Not, you know, because by this time, I mean, let's say that's a whole nother conversation about what age range would you go. But I feel like sometimes older guys seem to kind of click a little bit more. Like, they get it a, li a little more. Because it used to be when we were younger, oh, well, well, well that men ain't ready till they 30. Okay, mm -hmm. we're past 30. Right. Men ain't ready till 35. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> right. So now we pushed it back and we're on 40. So, well, you, know, you, know, I mean, you think they're, so, y'all know my track record. And for the people out yes. there that don't know, old men. I old men. <laughs> Old men. <laughs> Older men. <laughs> but what I realized is the same, a lot of the same, mm, I shouldn't say the same. Older men do tend to know what they want. And I think that was an attractive trait in them. Mm -hmm. um, they know what they want. But then at the same time, I think that scared me. So then mm -hmm. I would say a lot of things came along with older men. They already had kids. They might have been married and divorced, which nothing is wrong with that, but it's a lot to take on as a single woman, mm -hmm. no kids, and coming into all of that. So was I willing to do that? Um, and then that whole rearranging, I think to what Tanya said, that whole rearranging, redefining <laughs> their ways, um, a harder road and a harder pill to swallow if you're dating somebody a lot older than you are. Um, so you, you okay so i actually want to go back to sheree's point she's like we're doing this together okay you teaching me i'm teaching you you redefining me i'm redefining you of course it's going to be but i even said this earlier with to someone else to me that i feel like if i'm the woman that uh I, god is trying to get me to be mm -hmm. or you know craving me and, and doing all this stuff and saying okay this is who i want you to be then that man will be taught He'll be redefined. He'll be realigned and he'll be rearranged. I won't have to do nothing because God is, our, if I'm that woman, I'm going to bring that out of him. If I'm that woman, because you know, guys, how we do, because we are the emergency, you know, the EMTs, okay? We're the EMTs. We know each other the EMTs. That we, what happens is, these guys, they need us to be like, hey, I just want you to be proud of me. I just want you to say, hey, I'm doing okay. Like, I'm really not feeling good. Can you help me? Can you help me? They did that to us. Uh, we gave, gave, gave to those men. <laughs> we were the ones to restore them back to where they need to be. So this question right here, when she said that, I said, well, hello. I've been doing that. I've been teaching. I've been right. rearranging. I've been doing that. So I'm like, where he at? What's going on? Where, what's this? Now, see, Maggie made a great point. Is he ready to receive that? Is he ready to receive being taught? Is he ready to say, you know, like, without us trying to be their mother? I'm not trying to be nobody mama. Right. I'm not trying to raise no 35, right. 40 old men. No. I'm trying to support. <laughs> so, right. Maggie, you were right. Cherie, you were right. I was wondering, these topics, what she said, I was like, wait a minute, ma'am. These are very intense words. Because she's like, you got to, you got right. gotta, you guys are 35, you're beautiful. Why you ain't got no man? Okay, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> to the show, okay? Hi. That's what we're trying to figure out. Right, but What's Victoria, but Victoria, with being mm -hmm. like reteaching, realigning with those things, like let's mm -hmm. say we meet a guy, he's willing to, you know, 
have something in common. We have some things in common, but not everything. And let's mm -hmm. say I'm trying to teach him like to be an outdoorsy person, to kind of mm -hmm. be sociable, but we might find a man who likes being a homebody, who likes staying mm -hmm. at Maybe <laughs> not like being sociable. Are you willing, are you willing to, Maggie, Sheree, Vicky, right. are you willing to be Deal with taught it. to be a homebody? You know what I'm saying? Like Sheree was saying, give and take. Or is that a deal breaker? If I'm trying to teach you to be involved right. in social life, to go to these events with my friends, to <laughs> go on these uh, couples trips, you know, yep. you want to take couples trips, go mm -hmm. double date, you know, <laughs> things like that, go to church <laughs> together. What if he is a homebody? Because that can lead into, you know, deal breakers. Like, Mm -hmm. What is dating? You really have to define what you want to reteach, realign. And if he doesn't like yes, that, yes. being older men, they might be stuck in their ways, right? Yes. They might already know what they like. No, I know I don't like going out to eat. No, I don't right. like going mm -hmm. out on double dates with other couples. I don't know them people. They your friends. <laughs> they ain't my friends. You know you got people like that. So what are you? We have a lot of do? people like that. Are you going to check out? Dismiss right. him and be like, okay, he doesn't want to do these things. Or are those deal breakers? You know, because that's a lot of words. Reteach, realign. Yep. That is a lot of work. Right. To me, but see, to me, when you're specific like that, you are looking for a husband. You ain't looking for nobody to just chill with on Friday night. When you're trying to reteach, redefine, realign, and those things match up, that's your mate to me. That's how mm -hmm. I look at it. I'm like, okay, if I'm doing all this work, now mind you, he has to do his work too, though. It can't be me just reteaching you and then I become the leader. And I don't believe that I right. am the leader. All right. Not in a I relationship. What you I'm think, Maggie? I'm not leader. You, know, you Maggie, ready on ready you, you baby. To, to the old man. Yeah. But <laughs> you said yeah. these men ain't committing. They're not. <laughs> They're not committed, so hello. I thought that was a really great question because I experienced that several times, right? Because y'all know from work to side hustle to side businesses to family to church to everything else I'm involved in, I am always on the go. And I did date someone in the past that was truly a homebody in work. And I was like, how is this going to Like, I want to be out there with me. Right, that was that relationship, and then I realized, okay, I didn't think it would work, but I was like, I think this is what I really want. And I go back years ago, I think this was probably 10 years ago. This guy, I was having a conversation with a guy, and he was like, Maggie, you're gonna have to decide if you really want a husband, are you cool with a husband that's willing to stay at home, not out there cheating, working on the yard, likes to be a mechanic, whatever, versus yeah. him everywhere you have to be. And honestly, you might have to make that choice and decision. Is that what you want? And will you be okay with it? Or if you marry somebody like that, 10 years down the road, will you be like, I can't deal with this because this is not me and you want to be on the go, 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 go. But then I fast forward my life now at 35 mm -hmm. and dealing with someone now who's made me realize I need to slow down. I want to slow down. I want to mm -hmm. learn like I don't have to be everywhere. I don't have to be involved in everything and people will right. still be okay. I yeah. am not going to hold <laughs> things together and it's okay. So now I'm realizing at 35, Maggie, slow your butt down, sit down, stay at the house, watch a movie, yes. do not up yes. and down the road. So I am willing to learn. I am willing to slow down and I am willing to have a balance and meet that person in the middle where I feel like mm -hmm. I'm not changing me, but mm -hmm. I'm evolving and growing and realizing I don't have to be a part of everything. So, are you sure, Maggie? You cool with that? <laughs> Let me yeah. tell you. Yeah. I, I, that, I for <laughs> real. Because I haven't had that before. Right. I haven't had, you know, I ain't had no man take me out. I ain't double dated. I haven't called, gone on a couple's trip. So, if you right. want to be a homebody, mm -hmm. Oh. That ain't cool. You know, you still gonna have me out here going to these events looking like a single but, one. Right. It has to be a balance, right? What I'm saying right. mm -hmm. now will probably be with, okay, let's go on a couple's trip. Let's do whatever, whatever, right? But I'm not gonna be out every weekend at every family function event True. at every 
time right. your cousin, second and third cousin have an event i'm not about to be at everything but couples trip cool that's something super important to you let's go somebody's been or your parents whatever let's mm-hmm. go but all this other random stuff <laughs> all these other random functions right right Cause right. you know, I think, um, right. I think it depends on the event. Like the event has to. It be does. Like, it does. Cause yeah. some events he gonna have to chalk it up and get out the house. <laughs> right. So, some events he's going to have to chalk it up and get out the house. And you know, see, as my husband, as my husband, I'll deal with it later. I'll give you whatever you're able later. But <laughs> now, just please. <laughs> see, come. that's the thing. That's the thing. So when it comes down to us making those compromises he is willing to do those things that he yes, might not yes. like because right. of the relationship because it most likely it will be a god-ordained relationship because right. if it's not then that's where you where you have troubles and where you have conflicts and you know discord Correct. and all that because now you're like you're right. me 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 and it's like no 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 it's we 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 <laughs> <laughs> You know, you me. We, we, we. That's how we get this thing going. <laughs> no, because you know, uh, actually, my mom said something. Because you know, they always listening to what we say, y'all. Always, even if we in the other yeah. room. So that's a whole other <laughs> show. Yeah. Skittles. So okay. she said, <laughs> right, right, right. We have call names for that too. So, so she said, let me tell you something. If your husband is a homebody. He, when you met him, he's going to be a homebody afterwards. Yeah. When you marry yeah. him, he's not going to change. He is yep. not going to change. If he want to be in the house, he's going to stay in the house. I know a lot of women, actually older women, who marry their husbands, they be in the streets. They be in these streets, and their husband is chilling at the house watching TV, and they've made it work. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't, Okay. But I'm pretty I sure, like like I said, I'm pretty sure they at least came out every once in a while. But they know yeah, their wife. Mm-hmm. Just like they know their husband. And they're like, okay, yep. I can deal with this. I can, we good. I mean, that but on the only flip side, for us four, for us four, I'm like, I don't <laughs> see us. I think because we are, we live so much. Mm-hmm. Okay? We live. We live. We live. And I think we we're at that point where it is going to be a pick and choose what kind of event that we're going to go to and most of the time i think if we do have an introvert or just just a person that just like to be at home just in general i think they will go out because they're going to see well booby at the house all the time yeah because right. <laughs> yeah I, people what do it all the time going on? unless unless we like hey we're about to plan a trip or hey it's a you mm-hmm. know a birthday party or something like that we we chilling so yep. then i ask you or y'all i ask y'all how important is it for your mate to blend in with your friends right up in here? How is it? Imp- okay, how important is it for him to be able to blend in with what we got going on? Our inside jokes, our show, whatever. Is he okay? Or how important is that to you for him to be that way? Now, what you mean by blending it? In my mind, when you first said it, I thought like he's got to have to be okay, have to be like acceptable, like have to be. Now, yes. hindsight 2020, what man is going to be like, no, you can't do this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't hang out with your friends because it's not like we're just jealous ones. <laughs> I think that that's the main thing. We're not disrespectful women. Mm-hmm. We know if each one of us have uh, a significant other, we respect each other's faces. And mm-hmm. we give time, we give thought into all of our decisions. And we right. come together as a sisterhood and be like, hey, this is what's going on. This is what I got planned. How can we maneuver this down the third? So I think for us, I don't think it'll be like a big, big deal. Now, when it comes to meeting y'all, Correct. <laughs> well, that was coming uh, so I can't even, that was let me coming not put myself out of the equation. When it comes to meeting us, I think they're gonna have they're gonna have to be on a certain caliber. But I think we we already set that bar. So we set that yes, we did. So even if they do come in and we don't know who they are, they're still gonna have this um I'm not gonna say manly, but they're gonna have this um this presence about them. Confidence. Yeah, they're going to have this personality. Right. Confidence. Confidence. That when they come in, they're going to be like, oh, okay, yo, what's up? Like, yeah, I'm your friend. And it's not like, 
we like hounding them or like being disrespectful. You just want to know who you is. Like, what you? Yeah. What you they got to be able to hold their own, too. Yeah. You know, and I don't right. have to chase you we around your own, like, oh, yeah. Right. I don't want to have to be like, are you okay? Right. You okay? You okay? You gotta ask exactly. if you okay every five minutes. We don't right. do that. Right. I'm not no. doing that. We laugh we do a lot. The <laughs> right, we do laugh yeah. a lot. Right, and because we have so much history, even I would say a lot of people, not just guys, girls too, that come right. into a room with all of us, and they get yeah, too, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. Be, intimidated because we have jokes from way back then right and if you're a jealous type and be like yeah, yeah. Ain't the joke. Or, or something think something yeah. up you mm -hmm. know we but have some we of never those disrespectful <laughs> we're never disrespectful exactly. to anybody new but we definitely going to inquire about you oh what you do oh okay. right you know just things like that we'll, we'll try to get to know you too but we respect everybody's relationship um it, yes, we do. We, we, yes, we do. And people, and we respect everybody's choices of who they yes. date. And right. I think it's important, back to your question of mm -hmm. how, how deep or how should they evolve with our friendship or mm -hmm. whatever. I honestly think they should just be supportive, right? They don't have to mm -hmm. be best friends, guys, right? But they should be supportive of the relationship. And to time point, we know how to set healthy <laughs> boundaries, right? We know how right. to set right. We can do this. We understand the respect level. So, um, but Victoria, you brought up a good point earlier around Hello? women that are married whose husband is sitting at in the these streets. And they're in these streets. streets. <laughs> so I think a really good question, maybe maybe even an ending question, but it is a great question because it's ending or to go to the next show. But go ahead. Both. What? This next show, baby. Go ahead. You good? Perception. Go ahead. Go ahead, Meg. <laughs> So yeah, perception, right? Mm -hmm. And what we've seen, what we've seen growing up. Maybe it's yes, your parents. Yes, maybe it's yes. um, the lack of. Maybe you saw your parents yes. out there all the time together. You did it. So what is okay for you? And perception of what we've, seen, what society has told us. And maybe we should think about that and talk about that on the next show. Yes. yes. So any last, any last things that any of you ladies need to say before we I mean, go? Think about like. When when we when we say words, words have meaning, mm -hmm. of course, but some words have multiple meanings. And I know, for me, my first reaction to the teach, realign, rearrange, and redefine was just like, mm -hmm. uh -uh. but as we <laughs> you said the no immediately. <laughs> okay, I was like, no, but as I'm not doing any of that. We're we're fig figuring out the real definition behind that within a relationship. That's completely different. And I know that when these questions come up. It, a lot of people are going to have that same pushback, like, uh-uh, uh until you realize, yes, this is a part of relationship. This is a part of a lot of relationships, not just it romantically. Is. It's friendships and all. Yep. Family members, moms, dads, aunts, cousins, baby mamas, daddies, sister brothers. Because you're that. bringing two people together. Yeah, right. to world. Live two different lives. I've yes. been in my life for 35 years. I have different experiences. Right. Somebody who's, you know, 40 and live their life how they want to live. Can we find a common ground? Do we have common interests? Mm -hmm. Do we have common values? Can we communicate with one another what those right. things are? That we like and that we want in a woman or what he wants in, you know, well, what I wanted, man, what he wanted. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, like you said, it's all about balance and common interest, commonality. Yes. So, um, thank you, Maggie, for getting us to what we're going to talk about next week. Yeah. Uh, yes. Of course, happy birthday, Sheree. Put thank it in the cash you. app. I'm sure she could put it Start in the comments. Put a cash birthday. app. Put it up. Uh, uh, birthday. What, what's your cash app, Sheree? You what's your cash app? app? What's your cash oh. app, Sheree? Right, it's Sheree Rose. S H E R E E R O S E. Yes, give it to the, the people. <laughs> <laughs> so, give it to the people. So we want to thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. This has always been fun. Always been great. And you know what's interesting to me? We are learning stuff about each other. As right. long as we've been friends, we're learning things about us as an adult woman mm -hmm. trying to get a husband, trying to get a boyfriend, come you know, all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys. Remember, 
follow us on Facebook, Chapter 35, actually, I'm sorry, The Waiting Game, Chapter 35 on Facebook, <laughs> as well as on Instagram, same line. So you're going to see us. If you see us on YouTube, we're going to put it everywhere. So don't forget to follow the page and share the link. We will see you guys later. Hey. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>